Hey everyone, Kaylee here with this Celtic Knot tutorial. I've gotten a lot of requests for this and I decided to go ahead and put this video together with my own tips and tricks to make this knot as easy as possible. So first of all, if you're doing a half up style, go a couple inches back from your hairline and select your pieces of hair from there. You want to get about a two inch section of hair so that you have a good amount of hair to work with. Then do the same thing on the other side. This way the hair is long enough to tie in a knot rather than using those short layers around your face. Step one is to make a loop. So you're going to take the section from the left and then make two fingers and wrap the hair around those two fingers. Then you're going to use the bobby pin to hold that in place because you're going to make the knot around this loop and it's a lot easier to do if you don't have to keep holding the loop while you're trying to make the knot. Once you have that loop in place, we're going to go ahead and work with the right side and it's going to go over, under, over, under, over, under until the knot is done. So go ahead and grab that right side and step one is to go over the tail of the loop. So you take that side from the right and bring it over the tail. For step two, you're going to go under the base. To do that, go ahead and put your thumb through the loop so that all your other fingers are free. Then take those fingers and wrap them underneath the base and grab the hair and pull it through. And you're done with step three. Then moving on to step four, we're going to be going over the outside of the loop. So take your fingers through the loop, grab the hair and pull it through. For step five, we're taking the hair through the base on the other side. So hold on to it with your left hand, reach your fingers underneath the base on the right side and pull the hair through. And then we just have one more step. To do that, we're gonna go over the outside of the loop again. So take the loop, put your fingers through it, grab the hair, and then pull it over top of that outside of the loop. And guess what? That is it. All we have to do now is remove the bobby pin from the middle, because we don't need it anymore. And then if you want to, you can go ahead and tighten it up by pulling on the ends of the knot till you've reached as tight as you want it to be. Once you've tightened it up, if you feel like it's too tight, you can also loosen it back up so that it looks a little bit larger. Then it will stay on its own, but you can also add a pin if you want. And that's it. Now you can also wear this in a ponytail instead of a half updo. To do that, separate your hair into three equal sections around your head. Once you have that done, you're going to take your back section and secure it with an elastic. So this is technically your ponytail that you're making right here. Then you're going to follow the steps that I just went through with the hair that's remaining to create your knot. And then once that's done, you can decide whether you want the tail to stick out on the end or whether you want it to be underneath. If you want it to be underneath, just grab the tail and bring it around the back and pin it in place underneath the knot so that you can't see it anymore. And then once that is pinned, you are done. And of course, you can leave the tail out if you prefer how that looks. So that's it for this Celtic Knot tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. Definitely give it a try. It takes a couple of practices before you really get it, but once you do, it's actually really easy. So I hope you guys try it, and definitely send me pictures if you do. I would love to see them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Well, bye.